<laughs> What's the latest call? Uh, I think it's 15. I think they're about to save us. Do you know what you can do though? I'm not really. I'm really not trying to be shady, but like if you look at the time, the show starts at two. Oh, you guys are you. There's no point in saying I'm really not trying to be shady. I'm not. Like I've just that was just like a helpful tip. Like, but you've all, you've said what's the call before? Like it's not like an abnormal question. So shut up. <laughs> Hello, pre-show. It is the last day Ooh. of Nutcracker and potentially of the pre-show. Pre -show. I have all your questions. Are you boys ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which flavor of ice cream best describes your personality? That was asked by Andrew Bauer, fourteen. Um, I think I'm a a vanilla chocolate swirl. I'm cookies and cream because my other half is black. I'm vanilla because... <laughs> what are you? Dark chocolate. No, Daniel's a banana split. <laughs> what kind of ice cream do you like? Brazilian coffee? In my last ride. If you could dance with any person in the world, who would it be? I know. Anna Hewitt, 54. Who? Marinella. Me too, actually. If I could Gorgeous. dance with anybody, I would love to do a duet with Eric Underwood. Okay. Damn it, I was gonna say. Okay, let's do a trio. That would be that would be fierce. Or like um or like, or Craig Hall. Oh yeah. Oh, I love you. Who, who would you want to dance with, Chandler? Stephen McRae. Who would duet with? Uh, Oh, wow. I wouldn't because I'd look like a piece of shit. <laughs> Are you serious? He's, Aust he's Australian, right? Yeah. yeah. What's the one thing you would change about the pre-show? Reese will probably say not to fart as much. Really, I don't have any regret. I think that it's brilliant just the way it is. <laughs> okay, that was from Charlie Coffee. Thank you so much. Okay, Luca. What would be your advice to a teenager who just started ballet on how to improve? Quick tips. Just work your hardest. Don't get it. frustrated with yourself. It is just important to focus on technical and like dancing things as well as picking up choreography and learning how to work smart. It's not just physical attributes you need to be a dancer. Okay? Don't get frustrated with yourself. Don't get frustrated with, your, with yourself? Look in the mirror, check the body. Face the truth. Face the truth. That's Believe true. you can do it and you're halfway there. Yes! Believe you can do it. And don't be afraid to fail. You have to fall down before you can get up. Mm. Oh. That was a moment. Wow. A cherub? Where do you all get your ballet clothes from? Keto Dancewear? Keto Dancewear, Yumiko. A lot of us go to like sports stores and get like Block. Adidas. Adidas Nike. Adidas, Nike, Champion. Block. Block. Lululemon. Lululemon. Darren130. What's your favorite Snapchat filter? Mine's definitely the one that zooms in and you like look like a monster, like really close. I like the one with the stars and like the white light. Yeah, I love anything that's like a headband. I like a crown and like a good I like the flower band. Yeah, I like a headband that evens out the skin tone. Oh, you love that. <laughs> I like the face swap. The, the face swap is funny, it just never works on me because I'm what? Black. One thing I will say, Snapchat, if you're listening, which I know you are, is that the filters with the lips aren't made for black people. So the lips are either so small or too big. Or too big. This is from As a Matter of Fact. What were um, the first impressions of all of us, like when we met each other? Oh my god. Oh shit. Mine of Reese, I've told this story before, was I thought he was a cocky gay bitch. But I am. Oh, mine of Daniel and I was thought... he was super quiet. Like the first two days, he was so quiet. I was like, oh my god. Really? Yeah. My first impression of Harper was he knows he's good and he knows he's funny and he knows he's a cocky bitch. Really? Mm -hmm. Love it. That's why we clicked. The first thing Reese said to me was, do you know who I am? That's legit the first thing he said to me. The first time I met Z, I thought he was dumb as shit. Like, so dumb. I was like, could you pick up a freaking exercise? But then it's like, language barrier, thrown into like, American company, trained in China. Like, I didn't really get it. 
So, um, he was, he's slower, but he's much smarter, and so much smarter now that he can throw shade. What was your first impression of me? Amazing. I think you was very really funny. Thank you so much. Um, but... Oh. I don't know you were gay. You didn't know I what? was... What? Peyton Connor, would you guys ever date? Hell to the fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I like men. Like, it ain't gonna happen. Never. Okay. okay. <laughs> Question from I am Von Dutch. Live. Do you think I'll, you will ever get rid of the um, black sandals in the pre-show? No. This one's from J Adrian Forty Two. My pre-show question is: How often do you guys wax your? Oh! Oh my god. Um. See, that's when that's when we would use. Black sandals. <laughs> no, I've done it, and it's so much better. Yeah, it's better, but like. And like. Boom. Done. Like actually, sorry, two sides, but like, it's so much easier than trying to. This one's from K V N G K H I, Sean. Um, this question is for Harper. How does it feel knowing that you are the role model for young African American boys that are doing ballet? And I also want to let all of you guys know that all of you guys inspired me to audition for this ballet. So I look forward to training there this time. Thank you. That's sweet. That we all inspire him to um, audition for Houston Ballet. Like seeing us make someone want to join. Aww. And then he was like, oh my god, I love you guys. He just said that I was like an inspiration or something. I love you. Um, I need to save that. Who was you? King, King of Sean. I say that about someone else. Someone else last Snapchat question said that, and I never messaged you back. I was a terrible person. But I will message both of you because I'm not gonna cry on camera. <laughs> okay, this one is from D. Hayes. Yeah, I wanted to know um, who's your biggest role model and why. Love you guys. I'd say Eric Underwood's a role model. Oh, Craig Hall. I love him. Craig Hall. Like, people, my role models are the ones who I can see a bit of myself in, and like, and their path is similar to me, and like, I can relate to them. Maybe not like, I might not want to like, achieve all that they have. Role models are people who motivate me to try something new or try something more. Those type of people. I can't really think of that many right now. Reese? I have no one. Oh, okay. No one. Eric Underwood. Yeah. I mean the difference. <laughs> Hi, Preacher, we're back. Um, I was blessed with not having Act Two today, but Reese is doing French again. Um, act One is done, and I thought that while he's finishing getting ready, we could answer some more of your questions. KCC, Harper, is Houston Ballet your dream company, or are you hoping that your career will take you somewhere else? My dream company growing up was always Alvin Ailey, um, but right now this is my dream. I'm living it. Is this your dream company? Mm -hmm. What's your dream company? San Fran or Royal Valley? Live. Sandra D. 98. Sandra D. What is the one thing you love most about each other? Aww. Um, Daniel Sass and his, like, blackness. <laughs> um, Reese is, um, this is gonna sound sexual, but like his affection. I feel like he's really caring for everybody and genuinely like caring. Cares about everybody. And um, I love Chandler's innocence and his eagerness to learn and get better. And I love Z's. Same. I feel like he's really like, he's like a sponge and he picks up everything. And um, his Z's. Um, talent. <laughs> I think he's one of the most beautiful dancers. And, um, I love me. Uh, I like ah. Harper makes me laugh all the time. And <laughs> this coffee. Yeah, he's my best friend, so. Through um, thick and thin. Yeah. 
and D is just fucking hilarious. His facial expression, um, his facial expressions, his quickness, his quickness. Little. Um, Z is just like, I just love Z. You just want to like hug him all the time because he's so adorable because he just copies everyone. Um, and Chandler's just, yeah, so sweet and young and innocent. And Daniel loves us for letting him be on the pre show. Yeah. <laughs> Willis PB. Since the pre show is ending for a little while, will, oh, will you still make some videos because we all love them so much? Oh, of course, yeah. I'm going to still make videos. It's just. If it's on the regs, there's potential for something to um, happen. But yeah, I'll do it. Chunwei, Oliver, Derek. I mean, I'm, I'll film something like I did earlier this season, but I don't know if it's going to be on the regular. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Oh my gosh, the original three. Original. Let's reminisce. What? Are you done? No, I'm going to pull my mustache on. So, are you going to stay in the same spot? Like, are you going to sit over there? Totally. Reese is moving. To where? To Hayden's. If, only if you don't want it, because you're a more senior. You're a seniority, but I heard you didn't, so... I love that. I like that respecting. You should just have Chandler and Danny sit over there. Oh, Where okay. me and Reese were. As long as I have, I have, my, have my own spot, I'm good. I like, don't know how to end this. Like, it's just like I don't want it to end. I just, like, I we're want to. another one. I know, but I don't want it to end. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The other ones, I, like, took it upstairs and was like, ah, here's everybody in the company. I'm like, I don't know what to do now. Okay, we'll see you at the next show pre show. Haha, <laughs> bye. Make a wish come true.